Oh, Gott, was ist los? Woher kommt die Schießerei? Mein Führer, darf ich Ihnen zum Geburtstag gratulieren? Mein Führer, das Zentrum von Berlin steht unter Artilleriebeschuss. Granaten sind in dichter Folge am Brandenburger Tor, am Reichstag und bis hin zum Bahnhof Friedrichstraße eingeschlagen. Von wo kommt der Beschuss? Mein Führer, wir haben noch keine Meldung. Ich spreche gerade mit Koller. Koller, geben Sie mir Koller. Koller, Sie wissen, dass Berlin unter Artilleriefeier liegt? Nein. Ja, sagen Sie. Hören Sie den Beschuss nicht? Nein, ich bin in Wildpark Werder. Riesige Aufregung in der Stadt. Die Russen sollen eine Eisenbahnbrücke über die Oder haben. Der Feind hat keine Eisenbahnbatterie an der Oder. Warning, Alien Covenant spoilers up ahead. In this video, we'll discuss how the Neomorphs and Protomorphs in Alien Covenant were apparently able to grow so fast, possibly faster than any previous movie. We witnessed this insane growth in several scenes. The first is the backburster scene. A baby Neomorph is born and instantly proceeds to attack Kareen while getting larger and larger. The second scene occurs outside in the field, where we witness a Neomorph burst from the victim's mouth. This newborn Neomorph proceeds to then run away. Moments later, an almost adult-sized Neomorph attacks the crew. Now I'm guessing this is the first Neomorph, which just escaped from the exploding dropship moments earlier, and the second smaller Neomorph was the one which exited from the mouth. So we can basically take a guess that a Neomorph becomes the size of a human in around 5 to maybe 20 minutes, and they possibly grow even larger after a few days. Later in the movie, we witness possibly the most rapid transformation when David lures Captain Orem into his cave full of eggs and a face auger attaches to Orem's face. Moments later, a baby protomorph is born and does a little dance move. After what feels like at most 20 minutes, a face auger attacks Lope and Cole uses a knife to cut it off. A fully adult protomorph then emerges and kills Cole. I'm guessing the one that just exited Orem a few minutes ago. The protomorph chases the rest of the crew, clings to the rescue ship, and after a battle with Daniels, is killed by a crane. Towards the end of the movie, a second protomorph emerges from Lope, who everyone assumed was okay as the facehugger didn't have enough time to impregnate him. But apparently, those two seconds it's attached to his face were long enough to impregnate him. The second protomorph appears to grow within a few minutes, like the first. So how were these aliens able to grow so quickly? Have they always grown this fast, and we just never realized it? If we look back to Alien 1979, the chestburster does appear to grow fast, but we get the impression that it takes maybe hours or days, not minutes like Alien Covenant. And how do the xenomorphs grow this fast without eating anything? In the Colonial Marines handbook, it's speculated that the xenomorph is like a charged battery when it comes out of the host, and already has the energy it needs to grow from the facehugger and host combined. The Aliens Adventure Gamebook speculated that the Xenomorph can eat inorganic materials like glass and plastic, and this is what enables its rapid growth. However, Alien Covenant appears to disprove this theory. Here on Earth, the blue whale grows in excess of 30 pounds a day, and it doubles its size in the first six months. Deer antlers are the fastest growing tissue on Earth. White-tailed deer antlers can grow up to half an inch per day. The antlers start growing in the spring and continue through summer. Growth is regulated by hormones and controlled by the number of daylight hours. But first, the antlers are covered with what is called velvet. This is made up of a network of blood vessels and nerves and is sensitive. As fall approaches, the velvet is shed, revealing smooth bone beneath. Also, giant kelp can grow up to 60 centimeters per day, although the average in spring is around 27 centimeters. Bacteria such as Baculus stearothermophilus can double in size as a percentage of body weight every 10 minutes under optimal conditions. The engineers, or David, have obviously programmed the protomorph DNA to be much more efficient than what we witness on Earth. Another interesting point to mention in regards to growth comes from the director's commentary of Alien Covenant. During the scene where Daniels crushes the protomorph in the crane, Ridley Scott states, Oh, he gets crushed, broken apart, and falls to the ground but his DNA will allow him to regrow. So according to Scott, the xenomorph can regrow limbs and parts, kind of like a lizard regrowing its tail. This is something we've never witnessed before. The xenomorphs in Aliens don't seem to regrow any limbs after being shot. Well, I guess the Marines didn't wait around long enough to find out. So what do you reckon? Do the xenomorphs in Alien Covenant grow faster? Or have they always grown this fast? And we just never had a reliable time frame to gauge it. Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Also, please check out my other videos. I'll see you later.